the Upper Peninsula of Michigan has quickly become one of our favorite destinations. And one of the main reasons why is the Keweenaw Overland Adventure Retreat. The Keweenaw Peninsula stretches out into Lake Superior and has some of the most amazing overlanding we've ever experienced. With the XV3 full of Country Boy beer and most of our map routes already laid out, we are looking forward to another great year. We arrived in High Rock Bay and set up camp. And slowly from the previous years, our friends started to trickle in. More than anything else, the best part about CORE are the people that we met. Once everybody reached our camp, plans were made, drinks were shared, and last year mishaps were recounted. The next morning it was time to get up, get packed, and head on to CORE. But not before we got some UP trail riding in. Arriving at CORE, we were greeted with some familiar CORE staff faces. It was an overcast, gloomy, windy day, but we didn't care. It was awesome seeing everybody. After a quick welcome meeting and an awesome dinner, we spent time walking around the vendors and reacquainting with everybody. The following morning, we all got up, ate our breakfast, gathered our small band of friends, and got on the trails. The first stop today was Keweenaw Waterway Upper Entrance Lighthouse. This is the north entrance to a 25 mile long waterway that cuts straight through the Keweenaw Peninsula. Our next stop is a year long mission in the making. Last year we tried to reach the Salmon Trout River Bridge, but didn't quite make it. This year after some light trail riding, we did. Half mile down the trail, some fresh tree fall, which Ryan from Venture Overland Company made quick work of. Of course, when you think it's going to be smooth sailing, Mother Nature digs out the trail just a little bit more, which was okay with us. Not even a half mile from the end of the trail, we had to work on our bridge building skills. Even though I was able to cross, we had to use an already downed tree to reinforce the bridge. After an awesome day of trail riding, we made it back to camp, made some dinner, and shared some brews, all while huddling underneath TC Teardrop's awning. 
The next morning, we are awoken by the smell of Scottle made donuts. Thank you, Chi Town 4x4, for that little jewel. Everyone gathered up and got back on the road because we had 165 miles to cover that day. It was still really windy, but that didn't stop us from enjoying Great Sand Bay, which was actually covered in rocks. You had one job, name guy. We made one quick detour to reach Brockway Mountain, and it was worth it. After Kappa Hapa and our butts going numb, we realized that we needed to air down, so quick stop, then we got back on the trail. The Kiwana has endless 4x4, ATV, snowmobile, and hiking trails. I wholeheartedly believe everywhere you go in the Kiwana is beautiful. Another stop if you have the time. It's a little off the beaten path, but you definitely check out Fish Cove. After almost all day of trail riding, and a few detours and closed roads and turnarounds, we made it to Haven Falls Park. We had one last stop of the day, and that was in Gay, Michigan. There's only one place to eat in Gay, Michigan, and that's the Gay Bar. You've got to stop and try it. But just outside Gay, right around the corner, is the Gay Beach, which actually isn't a beach. The Mohawk Mining Company built a stamp mill in Gay in 1898. The residual stamp sand was dumped into Lake Superior, increasing the town's area to what you see today. After some beach driving shenanigans, we had just enough time to make it back to Coors Base Camp for the raffle. The weather was cool and the temperatures were perfect, and that last night, probably a few too many brews were shared, but it was an awesome time. The Keweenaw Overland Adventure Retreat introduced us to the Upper Peninsula, made us fall in love, and will keep us coming back. If you want your introduction, check out CORE next year. <laughs>